Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Views. Today we're taking a look at the Volcanica uh, brand. This is a brand that comes out of Italy, which is pretty cool. Uh, all the way on the southern tip of Italy, uh, which is pretty interesting. And this is going to be their first model for release. Um, all their watches are assembled in Italy, so they source all their parts and actually assemble all their parts in Italy, which is pretty cool. Um, so you're kind of getting like, you know, a hand put together, hand assembled watch in Italy. Uh, which is pretty interesting if you're into something like that. Anyway, it's a pretty interesting watch, as you can probably see here. It's called the Efesto. It comes in two variations. It's actually available for pre-order uh, right now, or you can wait for their Kickstarter to launch in February. And uh, yeah, all that information will be down in the description below, as well as their website. Uh, so you can check that out if you enjoy this watch after the video. Anyway, it's a very well-made watch. Um, has some nice specifications for the price and of course a really interesting volcanic dial as you can see here it looks like kind of the lava exploding from a volcano on the dial and you'll see what I mean when I get into the loom shot it's really really cool let's check out the packaging we'll see we'll see what's on my wrist and then we'll dig a little deeper it does come in a very nice lacquered wood box with a closing polished buckle their logo is inscribed on top and it comes on a very nice pad uh, I think for this price the packaging is actually very good um, definitely something you can use to store the watch in, or you can just keep the watch uh, box. On the wrist today is the Casio. I don't even know the number of this watch. I just picked this up. It was like $18 on Amazon, uh, just for a beater watch, something to work in. And it kind of looks like a G-Shock Square, but it's not. I guess it's the poor man's G-Shock Square. Um, but I think the colors are pretty cool, and uh, it fits my wrist pretty nicely. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll be doing a review of this one shortly. Now the Effecto does come in two variations. It comes on the bracelet, and it also comes on the handmade Italian leather band, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, get it get it straight out there. Pricing for these models will be 289 euros. That's the pre-order price. Full price, 389 euros on the bracelet. Um, on the leather band, 259 euros and 359 full price. So it definitely makes sense to pre-order these watches. You're gonna save a lot of money if you wanna get one of these. Uh, anyway, we have a solid 316L steel stainless case. Uh, we have a 40 millimeter diameter across. So perfect size for you guys who love dive watches. Um, uh, the lug to lug, you're looking at about 46.5. So it fits very compact on the wrist. My wrist is 6.5 inches and it really fits nicely on my wrist. A pair of 20 millimeter lugs here. We get a case thickness of just 12.5 millimeters, which is pretty thin for a dive watch with a sapphire crystal and an automatic movement. We get a sapphire crystal as well, which is a domed sapphire crystal, as you can see here. Um, it does have anti-reflective coating as well. Uh, the bezel is 120 clicks. It is a uh, ceramic. It's polished ceramic, uh, which is very nice. It does have a nice glow to it. It is fully loomed. You can use this to, use this to time up to 60 minutes, of course. And uh, the watch is, I'm getting a little closer here, you can see, 200 meters water resistant. There is some nice, um, the dial is kind of like a grain, like a grainyish black, uh, it kind of resembles Volcano, obviously, with that orange tip seconds hand. And you have orange loom going through the dial, which is really cool. Volcanic is printed at the 12 o'clock position of Festo, the name of the watch, at the 6, automatic, then 200 meters. So definitely a very capable dive watch. You can definitely take this one diving if you wish. It has a screw down crown and a screw down custom case back, which I'll show you. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's take a closer look at this watch. The finishing is really smooth. A satin brush finish, polished crown with a V-signed logo, coin edged bezel. Uh, no sharp edges or anything like that. The finishing is pretty on point. You get chamfered polished lug tops, as you can see there, uh, which looks pretty decent. The lugs are uh, brushed as well. Flipping to the other side, satin brushed finish, very nice, no errors there whatsoever. This is only a prototype, so do keep that in mind. Uh, the bracelet is an H-link style bracelet with solid end links, polishing on the center, brushed on the outer portions, polished on the sides. As you can see, it is using screw links, so very easy to adjust. Um, I think the bracelet's very nice, actually. I like the H-link design. Uh, it's become very popular among micro brand watches these days. And um, yeah, it's very fluid as well. Uh, so you should have no issue with this one. doesn't pull hair or anything like that. Heading directly to the clasp here, you can see we get a nice clasp with Volcanica signed here. We get three, six micro adjustments, highly polished on the sides. Nice chamfer brush, brushing over here as well. Sorry, polishing over here. 
Pretty simple, two buttons opens up to a milled clasp. Feels very secure, uh, no issues with that. Fits nicely with the bracelet. And uh, yeah, now getting to the bezel action. So it's 120 click ceramic loomed bezel. We'll get into the loom when we get the loom shot. I'll tell you all about it. So the loom, is, the uh, bezel action is very good. Very solid clicks, no back play whatsoever. Very nice loom. Everything lines up to that 12 o'clock position very nicely. Now we have applied markers filled with loom as well. They have sword style hands, which are faceted and polished. And then that orange uh, sweeping seconds hand in an arrow style. The crown, very easy to unscrew and unscrew. You do get crown guards here as well to protect the crown. Um, this is running the NH35 without a date. There's no ghost position and there's no date. It's a dateless uh, watch. So self winding in the first position. One position we pull out, we get hacking, we can set the time here. Very easy to function, no issues there. For those of you who don't know, the NH35 was produced by Seiko. It beats at 3 hertz, it has about 24 joules and about a 40 hour power reserve. And uh, screw this back in here. So uh, no issues there with the crown, everything functions as it should. Um, yeah, very nice. Let's take a look at the case back now. So I know they have something special in here, yeah. So you get the nice volcanic explosion on the case back, screwed down with some specifications. That is custom molded and raised. Very cool. I think that looks pretty good. You can see, of course, these solid end links, completely brushed on the back, besides the raised polished parts, uh, which uh, looks pretty cool. Very interesting. Now I want to get you a loom shot. I also want to show you what it looks like on the leather band, the cheaper, more affordable option. Uh, we'll get right into the loom shot right now, and this loom shot is pretty crazy. So. Uh, Stay in your seats and we'll take a look. And as I told you, this loom is absolutely crazy. Have you ever seen a watch like this? So you have lava and orange loom coming out of the dial, which is really insane. We have BGW9 on the indexes and the dial, uh, which is Swiss loom, which is very strong, glows blue, as you can see here on the hands, all the markers and the ceramic bezel, and just something really cool. I mean, I've never seen a watch like this with loom actually with lines going through it. That is supposed to be lava, obviously. And I think it looks pretty true to uh, what lava would look like if it were loomed. So I think they did, a they did a pretty good job on the loom. On my 6.5 inch wrist, the watch fits really nice. It has a very short lug to lug at 46.5. The bracelet's very comfortable too. I like the polished center links. It really sits quite flat on the wrist here. Fits perfectly across like I stated. Um, very legible at all angles. Uh, no issues there whatsoever. You can see that AR coating coming through. Nice little hints of blue, as you can see there. Very nice, nice coin-edged bezel. You can see that dome and the sapphire crystal right there. Um, but yeah, definitely a very interesting dial. Uh, definitely doesn't look like any other dial I've seen before as well. And everything fits very nicely from the clasp to the bracelet. And I think they did a pretty good job uh, on this model. As I was stating, the watch does come with a handmade Italian leather band as well for the cheaper option. And it's actually a really nice strap. It's orange on the back. Then it's perforated over here with orange coming through these holes over here. And then you have black with orange stitching going up and down. Um, I'm going to show it to you on this band. I would prefer the bracelet for me. I'm more of a bracelet guy, but if you like a dive watch on a leather band, I think this is a decent quality leather band. A nice brushed buckle here, not too big as well. Some orange end stitching, two safety keepers. And uh, we'll throw it on the leather band. We'll see how that looks. On the supplied Italian leather band for the cheaper option, I think the leather band actually is really nice. I like those perforated holes with the orange coming through. Definitely matches the orange on that dial. Uh, I like the buckle as well. It's very nicely sized compared to the band. Um, definitely can fit up to a larger wrist. As you can see here, I'm on the second to last hole with a 6.75 inch wrist. About 6.5 during the winter, 6.75 during the summer. And yeah, I think it can definitely go with this leather band if you want to go for the cheaper option without the bracelet. Like I said, the bracelet's really nice. Uh, I would definitely go for the bracelet. Uh, but obviously, if you want to spend a little less, you can always go for the leather band as well. It looks pretty good on the leather band, and I have no issues with that whatsoever. As you can see, that nice orange backing there. Anyway, guys, in conclusion, I think it's a pretty, you know, interesting watch. Uh, you're getting this volcanic kind of theme here, uh, something very different. It's a new brand out of Italy. They assemble it in Italy. Maybe if you're Italian or you like Italian, her Italian heritage or something like that, this might be something you're into. You just like a really cool dive watch. Uh, but yeah, there are no quality control issues, even though these are only prototypes. Uh, it's a pretty well-made watch, solid 316 L stainless steel, very nice finishing, bezel action. You're getting great loom, interesting loom with the lava. 
and I think they're doing a pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool thing here. Um, yeah, definitely very different. I like, always like to see different things being done. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Volcanica Efesto, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.